Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if it's your first time. Today's video, another hard hitting video, just like vitamins. Uh, <laughs> today's video is all about summer sunglasses. Whenever I'm shopping for sunglasses online, I can never picture how they're going to look on my face. So I thought this might be a helpful video in case you are in the same boat. And I wanted to try to find similar styles to my most worn sunglasses because I get DMs and questions all the time about where they're, they're from. I'm gonna show you the sunglasses on and then with my hair tucked behind my ear, and then with my hair pulled up into a ponytail because for some reason sunglasses always look different on my face when my hair is up in a ponytail so i cannot be the only one right right okay <laughs> all right let's get started if you find this video helpful could you please give it a thumbs up thank you i add these rubber nose pads to all of my sunglasses it makes them so much more comfortable i just buy a big giant bag of them spray the nose bridge down with alcohol so that the adhesive can stick and then you're going to line the flat side of the rubber up with the flat side of your sunglass nose bridge pop them on and you are good to go this makes them so so much more comfortable <laughs> All right, this first shape, this is probably the pair of sunglasses I get asked about the most. This is called an oversized square shape. These are Dion von Furstenberg, very old sunglasses that I love, and this style is called Jasmine. It's a really lightweight, super comfortable. I just really think the, the oversized square is a classic shape. This pair on the bottom is from Nordstrom and I feel like they look so close to the DVFs. These are the DVFs on right now and here are the Nordstrom sunglasses which are under $20 by the way. How similar are those? I love the color, I love the shape, they were lightweight but still felt like a decent quality. I was really excited to find these and I think that the color is super flattering as well. I love everything about them. Oh, I also get asked about these sunglasses all the time. These are from a store called Mango. It's a mall store. These are really affordable sunglasses. These are a circle shape sunglass and circles can feel really intimidating, but I honestly think they're very flattering. I look for a wider plastic frame instead of a smaller wire frame. I just think that the plastic is a more flattering fit for me. And I, this is a good point to mention this as well. I think it's really important to look for sunglasses that are as close to your hair color as possible. I love a good black sunglass for drama, but I tend to go for plum, maroon, strawberry blonde, like as, as close to my hair color as I can get. Now this was a pair I bought from Amazon. I don't love them as much as the mango, but I tried, <laughs> you know what I mean? These are my Kate Spade sunglasses that I've had for, I wanna say 15 years, these aviators. I obviously need to tighten them up. They are just a really flattering shape. They're incredibly well made and so, so old. But that's why I, every once in a while I do like to splurge because I feel like those things, if you can not lose them, they really do last and are a great shape. The sunglasses on the bottom are a similar style that I just got from Nordstrom as well. This was another pair under $20 and I love these. They were so much of a nicer quality than I expected and I think that the color is so flattering. I think this would be a great color on a lot of skin tones with a lot of different hair colors. And I love, I think the oversized shape is perfect. It's not too big, not too small. All right, this is another pair of aviators that I tried from Amazon and I love the metal nose bridge that is extended. I think it's really cool, but overall, I'm gonna be honest, the quality on these was a little bit light to medium. <laughs> um, they kind of reminded me of the sunglasses you pick up you know, at a gas station on a road trip. So I tried and I think they're really cute. They might be good beach or pool sunglasses. These are the number one best-selling style of sunglasses on Amazon, so I had to pick them up. I picked up this blush shade just because I thought it was really unique, and I can totally see why they're the number one bestseller. This style is called Wayfair or Vintage Round. Sometimes it's called a vintage cat eye look, and it's just easy to wear. Super flattering on a ton of face shapes, lightweight, just a great sunglass. I wanted to share this brand with you called Electric and these sunglasses are called Riot. These are more of an oversized round shape is what I would call them. 
And this particular color is sold out because it was part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I wanted to share this brand with you because they make really, really high quality sunglasses and they're generally under $150. So if you're looking for a really well-made pair of sunglasses to hold on to for years, check out Electric. Ooh, this was an Amazon purchase. These are a geometric cat eye and this first brand is called Fidizi. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, this is the most oversized of the two. I saw a few different brands and so I picked up a couple to check out. Now these are really really dramatic and I think if you like that oversized look it will be great for you. This second brand is called Mos Mosana Anna, I believe. <laughs> I'm so bad at saying these names. And this one is a slightly smaller frame and also a really nicer quality than I was expecting. These really reminded me of more of a Target or a mall store quality where I would expect it to pay, you know, 25 to 30. And I want to say they were 14. I just love this shape. I love the slightly geometric cat eye. I think they're kind of cool and fun. I've been wearing them all the time this summer. It's really surprised me how much I've been wearing them. My fiance even said, those really suit you, uh, which I thought was very sweet. I do, I really just like this style of frame, clearly because I bought a second pair. <laughs> I bought this light blush shade and at first I didn't really know about the transparent because you can sort of see the letters through the side right there and you can see the screws at the front, but I've been wearing them a ton and I just think they're a really cool shape and a cool color. I like everything about them and the price. I mean, my gosh, you cannot beat two pairs of sunglasses for $14 each, I will take it. But yeah, those are just, these are really, really fun. Highly recommend. The quality was much, much better than I anticipated. This is another pair of sunglasses from Mango, and this is what I would call a round cat eye shape. It's a round lens with a cat eye perk up at the outer corners. And these are an older pair, but again, I wanted to show you this brand Mango because they do ship to the US and I just think they make really cute styles. So if you're looking for a trendy, affordable style, Mango might be good for you. These are two pairs of XL oversized square frames that I picked up from Amazon. And even though they're a little bit too big for me, I wanted to share them because if you love an extremely oversized sunglass, they are really cute. I got a pair in blush and I got this pair in brown and they were really affordable. So if you love a big, big, big sunglass, these are your sunglasses. <laughs> This is another pair of a round cat eye sunglass shape. These are a pair of Ferragamos that I bought and absolutely love. I love that pop of turquoise on the inside. It was sort of unexpected. And this is my rare pair of black glamour sunglasses. I just love these. I think the shape is super flattering. They're the right size for my face. And I did try to purchase a pair off of Amazon twice actually, and they did not come to me, but I did link them below that are really similar and really cute from what I can see online. But I love that uh, that shape is really classic. This is another pair from Amazon that I wanted to try. And this is a geometric square, oversized square. And I didn't love these on myself, but I have seen them on, on other people look so, so cute. So I did want to share them because it might be a style that would work for you. And I think they're really, they kind of have a nice vintage feel to them. Again, they were really affordable. These Chloe sunglasses were a treat to myself this summer. This is a vintage round shape with that low side bar as well and these are incredibly well made. I just love the vintage styling. I decided to treat myself, and by treat myself, I mean I went on eBay because I just cannot bring myself to spend three to four hundred dollars on sunglasses. I can't do it. So as long as you pick a seller with really good feedback, you should be okay. But these are really well made, so comfortable. I just love the style. I've been wearing them a ton all summer. So fun. I hope that this video was helpful. If you like myself, have been shopping predominantly online lately and wondering what the heck these sunglasses look like on. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.